and a movie tourist. And uh, so, yeah, have you guys heard of a lot of movie tours? Yeah, it sounds like it. They do some pretty cool stuff. We did, we actually, I do a show on Comic Book, and we did a, uh, on one of our After the Dead episodes, we went down, and you gave us a tour. We saw a bunch of locations, and then we kind of did like side-by-sides with the show, and then like, it's the, it's the show, it's real, like, those are really the spots. So, I kind of first want you guys to all introduce yourself, tell me what you do within the Atlanta Movie Tours. Um, and a couple of you guys have been on the show, so that's pretty cool, we should talk about that for a few minutes. Um, if you guys have questions, we'll talk about that. Uh, but yeah, just, Carrie, t- 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 tell me, who, who are you? Start with me, I'm yeah. Lori Burns. You're the closest, so I just have to, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm Carrie Burns, I uh, started... Did you call yourself the boring one? Stop I it. am the boring one. That's a filthy lie. They're so exciting, that's why they're the guides on the tours. Tremendously humble, I respect it. Okay. So we've been about six and a half years in business, and some of these, Stephen's probably the newest, Colin's the oldest. Thank you. <laughs> we love Colin. And of course we love, we love Joshua. Yeah. Top Josh. Top Josh. Yeah, so we do, uh, we do three bus tours based on Walking Dead and uh, Walking Tour. We also do hero tours based on all the Marvel filming that goes on around the city. A lot of Black Panther stuff now. And so we've got about ten different tours that we do all around town. But four down in Woodbury, Sonoy for Walking Dead. Have you guys ever gone down to where they shot the Woodbury strip and everything? Anybody ever done that? Yeah. The first time you do that, it's so surreal. When you watch the show and you're like, yo, this is where the governor used to be such a dick. Like, right on these streets. He was misunderstood. Steven, tell me about uh, what are you do with uh, Atlanta Movie Tours. Uh, yeah, I got, I got uh, walking tours, Big Zombie 2 and Big Zombie 3, mostly out of Sonoya. But I'm training for uh, one of the ones in Atlanta, the best of Atlanta. Uh, I also do the social media for Nick and Norman's in the Woodbury shop. And I was on the show in season seven uh, as a savior worker. Me too. No, season eight. But it's, it's, not a, it's not like a glamorous job being it's a savior not. worker. It's uh, about as glorious as being a savior worker. I'm not an actor. I'm a huge fan. And I just wanted to get on this show for like a second. And, you know, I got it. You were part of it yeah, like forever. Yeah, no, I got more than a second, but you know. What if, what what episode was it? Uh, my first episode was season seven, episode three, the cell, where uh, they played the Easy Street or something. But they didn't, like they said, they didn't play it on set. Uh, I was mopping behind Daryl when they take him down to the cell for the first time when Dwight's behind him. With so did you mop up all of Mark's pits after he got his face burnt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, you can go back and watch. I'm actually mopping up nothing. Uh, they, they were supposed to add something in post. They added Easy Street, but they didn't. They didn't add whatever I was mopping up. So I'm back there just mopping with nothing. Hey, that's acting right there, man. Yeah. Woo! It's not easy to sell that mop job. I've seen like I've seen there was like a, I feel what movie was there was something where somebody was supposed to be like sweeping in the background, but the broom was like this high off the ground. Wasn't that? It was it your James Bond movie? And the guy is just like, and he's like a foot off the ground. He's using a push broom. Yeah. Like this high off the ground going. <laughs> was that you calling? No. You know, you seem to know a lot about it. Was that, was that you? He's a huge Indiana Jones man. That's what it is. Yeah, you've been an extra too, so tell me a little bit about uh, what you do and, and, and what well, it was like. First, I just want to say, is it cool to know that if they make an action figure out of you, your accessory is a mop? <laughs> it's a good accessory for an action figure, man. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, my name's Colin. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a tour guide with Atlanta Movie Tours. I do the big zombie tours. I do Best Of. Uh, I do a Castleberry Hill walking tour of a little back lot here in Atlanta and everything it seems like. Uh, and I just love movies. 1981, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> yes? The line you always tell me. It's uh, I love movies and I love getting on this stuff. I've been doing background for six years. Uh, I was in Walking Dead. I was a Woodburyan. Long live the Gov people. Long live the Gov. No. Okay. I, I remember when I came down to Sonoya, we did the tour. You told me a pretty funny story about when you were getting in costume and you were like, "Oh, sick weapons." And then yeah, what my, my very first weapon on the Walking Dead set, they, uh, they said, come on guys, let's get you downstairs, start filming our first scene, and I got excited. I'm like, oh my God, I'm on the Walking Dead. I've been watching this show since day one. 
love this. And they said, before we start filming, we gotta get you propped up, we gotta get you some weapons. And I said, oh my God, AK-47, M16, rocket launcher. Anything big and loud, I can take it, bring it on. Right? We walked into a single file line into a building and the first guy walked out with a machete. Second guy came out with an ax. And I said, oh, we're not at the gun stage. Bummer. And then the guy walked out with a chainsaw. And I said, oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I walked out with a broom. <laughs> Robin broom. Remember baby. that time you were making fun of him one. for having a mop? Like, way back when? Yeah. yeah, at one point they took the broom head off of the scene, so I had a stick. An unpointed wooden stick. But not the one that, you know, Morgan would carry, a nice oak stick. Mine said Home Depot on it. <laughs> so it was gonna snap in half when I hit somebody, so... That's my first weapon. Yay. <laughs> Hilltop Josh, um, what community are you from? So, <laughs> that's uh, kind of in the name. That's kind of in the Hilltop. So I hang out with Maggie and uh, Jesus and uh, Gregory. You know, we don't really claim him, but don't tell anybody. Uh, but uh, it's really cool, though, because you know I've been able to see a lot of different things through season seven and eight. And uh, my first day on season eight was episode 100. And that was really cool, so not like his story, because they were like, we're getting weapons. And I figured, I thought about Colin's story. I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna give me a shell or an axe or something. No, we went through weapons training and they gave me an AK-47. And so I'm walking around, listening to Rick, Andrew Lincoln, tell his speech. If you guys remember that episode? Episode one of season eight, they have that long speech with Maggie, King Ezekiel, where he croaks Shakespeare. It's a really cool scene. And don't look for Hilltop Josh, because you won't see me, because everywhere a camera was, I was not. But I made up for it in season or episode two. I'm running around behind Morgan and uh, Tom, Jesus, with a big gun, and we're taking out savers at a, a satellite compound. So I, I made up for it in that. It was cool.